Good morning everybody, it's me again, Crazy Bag Lady. So I've not done any exercise this morning, I thought I would have a couple of mornings off because it's Easter, so happy Easter everybody, happy Good Friday. So I'm just doing my makeup, I'm just trying this out again, um, this is the a new Avon Age Transforming Foundation, I've used it, this is the third day I've used it and I still don't like it, <laughs> um, I don't like the smell, it does have a distinctive smell which I don't really like and it just, I don't know, it just doesn't sit nice on your skin, this is absolutely amazing avon true color foundation you can build it up you can use your blender it's absolutely brilliant i cannot recommend this foundation enough i do not recommend this foundation but i keep using it because it says age transforming foundation so i thought because i'm not going anywhere so i'm going to keep testing it while i'm at home just to see if it does make your skin sort of better or any younger but so far i really don't like it third cup of tea again so There's my little breakfast. So for breakfast today, I've got uh, blueberry squares, banana, and skimmed milk. Ooh, anybody else feeling like Groundhog Day? I bet even my videos are a bit like Groundhog Day. <laughs> Same thing, different day. But never mind. We're here to keep our spirits up, my dears. I've had a couple of horrible comments lately on YouTube, and it does put me off doing it a bit, but. Then I have so many lovely comments and so many of you so lovely to me, lots of your cards and stuff and it's so sweet. So we will just ignore the horrible comments and keep on vlogging, even though it is a bit like Groundhog Day. <laughs> Never mind. Lipstick of the day, Amy. So lipstick of the day, my darlings. We've gone over to the pink side. Lovely Hannah. Every time I see a pink lipstick, I think about you. <laughs> so lipstick of the day is Avon again and it's one of the X Mark lipsticks. And the colour is Blushing Beauty. I did wear it last weekend. Um, and it's just lovely. It's like the most simple pink colour. But it is just so pretty. It's so nice. Look. It's just lovely. And it would suit anybody. It's just like the perfect lipstick. If you just wanted a tiny bit of colour, you could wear it for work. But you could also even wear it perhaps if you were going to a wedding or anything. It's so lovely. So, again, I'm still wearing stuff that I've never worn before. So, this morning, I've got on like blue pink uh, blue lilac eyeshadow i would never normally wear blue lilac eyeshadow but i thought I'm not going anywhere so it doesn't matter so blue lilac eyeshadow and then outfit of the day i've got on some different high-waisted jeans i love these jeans because they are so so high-waisted but they have started to wear out and when they wear out they go all like baggy around here it's horrible um but these are my favorite old jeans and then i've got a white camisole top on and then i've got my cute little zara blouse which again was one of the last things i bought um on my last charity shop shopping haul mm, it's not fair is it and i loved it so much and i'm so glad it's going to be warm enough today to wear it so it's very very short so obviously you couldn't wear it with anything underneath it, but I really like it. It's so cheerful. Look at the little daisies all over it. It's so cute. And then obviously I've got a messy bun. My hair does need washing. So excuse my very messy, fluffy hair today. <laughs> the sea. <laughs> right, so this morning we're doing some fundraising. So what we've done, we've seen a few other people doing this as well. So they've put like stuff for sale outside the house, put an advertisement on their local like selling groups and stuff and just advertising stuff so really cheap and then people come along, they take what they want, put the money in like a little honesty box so nobody has to touch the money and the money goes to our local hospice so, because obviously all the charity shops and everything are short. So, so far this morning we've raised £13 for the sale of a few bits on the front of our house. So, I think that's brilliant so far. So, my hope is out there working on cars so he can keep an eye on the pot and the stuff. So, yay! We charity raising! I don't know how, but we've got to 10 past 12 already. The day again is flying by and it's so beautiful outside. It's so warm. So I thought I'm going to have a quick dinner and then I'm going to tackle some of the weeds at the front of my house. Ooh, I just came upstairs and I thought, ooh, somebody in the field. A man in the field. Oh, 
nice to see me hubby's out there social distancing. He's like an old woman when he gets talking. Look, so busy talking. Oh, I just realised I needed to wash James's sheets. So even though it's dinner time, um, it's a bit late to wash the sheets really, but I think because it's gonna be hot today and tomorrow, we'll still get them dry. So I'm about to quickly strip his bed, get them off the sheets in the machine. It's gonna be one of those days, isn't it, today where I just faff about little bits and get nothing actually done. Oh, all right, there's my little dinner. So I'm gonna have a little dinner and then get on with the rest of my job. So I've got seafood sticks, little tomatoes, mackerel in olive oil. And I've got my shoe of salvation mug. I think we all need a bit of salvation, don't we? Whether it's a pair of sparkly shoes or some fish crab stick things, which Amy hates. Amy, look, ooh, <laughs> off to enjoy my dinner. Venturing out the front to do some weeding. Um, I don't want to do too much out the front because eventually when this is all over, we're hoping to have it all sort of filled in and graveled over so we can park anywhere on the driveway. So at the minute, it's literally just to make it look a bit tidier because obviously because of all this virus, we've had to cancel having any work done. So my porch and my driveway is had to take a back seat. <laughs> Very comfy there. She's just been pushing the sunland around with her head. <laughs> Was it not in the right position, Winnie? <laughs> Don't want it there. <laughs> you are funny. around the back so we're about to hang some more washes out and now we're going to go back around the front car and weed in do you like my gardening shoes <laughs> they are my oldest 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 irregular choice shoes look at them they're absolutely battered in fact i think the sole has worn out on this one look i used to love them so much they used to be like real pale pink and pretty and now they're just horrible but i can't bring myself to throw them away so i use them for like going to the bin and gardening in <laughs> Ooh, got my little assistant doing a bit of watering so we've brought some plants around the back from the front so i'm hoping that they might survive brought a couple of heathers around and some little foxgloves um because obviously the, all the garden centers and stuff are closed at the minute so I'm trying to make the garden pretty as best we can aren't they beautiful Ooh, like little white pom-poms I think my dogs are good at social distancing. <laughs> the birds are so lovely. Right, Ruby's been busy. So we've um, been pinching plants from the front. My garden goes from that plant pot to um, that plant pot. Yeah. So it's all this bit. So obviously normally we would go to garden centres, but you can't at the minute. So um, we've been pinching bits out the front and obviously they were the plants we bought from the neighbour down the street the other day. So fingers crossed they'll all grow. Nice to see she's relaxing. <laughs> 10 to 4. I'm slightly a bit late with my coffee break. So I've just made me a hubby a cup of coffee. I've got some more washing, which... Really, it's probably too late to hang out, but then I thought, even if you just hang it out for an hour, the sun's still so warm, so it should dry the washing a bit. My Tesco food slot is between four and five, so obviously it's Good Friday, and then I'm thinking the best, there's loads of stuff out of stock. I've been really lucky because I've had this slot booked for quite a while, because they released like some Easter slots, so I did manage to get one. Um, but what stuff will be in stock? I don't know. I hope they send something anyway. It's so horrible when the food shopping comes now. You feel so worried about germs and oh god it's just awful why can't it be a normal sunny day <laughs> anyway stop moaning jane we'll be all right right let's get the washing out right Ooh, 
we're back inside. So I've not even drunk my coffee. And Mr. Tesco man's here. I wonder if he wants to... Oh. I wonder if he wants to buy anything from our little stall. Right, that's all my food shopping put away. That's everything like sorted out. I've washed my hands about 500 times. And now I'm gonna start rustling some tea up. Ooh, there's my little tea. So I've got lots of salads and boiled egg and like a wrap thing with ham and cheese melted over the top. Love this tea, so off to enjoy it. ...will need to be taken into account to give us a proper downturn and that we feel constant shouldn't watch the news but sometimes you have to watch a little bit of it my tea was lovely and it's now time to get the washing in you shouldn't watch the news it's too worrying and too scary best thing we can all do if we can is just stay in <laughs> sending love to everybody it's so frightening when you've watched the news oh and for anybody that wondered how we got on with our little hospice sale thing today we raised 39 pound so we've just been, because the lady lives around the corner, we've just been and dropped it off and the lady was over the moon. Obviously we kept our distance and we just pushed the envelope across, but we raised 39 pound, yay! So that was so lovely to help. Not much, but better than anything. Oh, right, for another job. So I've just washed my hair, so I've got to dry all my hair and then I've got to make James's bed. And it's half as heaven at night. <laughs> sun's going down or should I say it's already gone down <laughs> so now we need to go make James's bed oh hello pal. hello hello wave. give everyone a wave that's it oh <laughs> give us a wave give us a wave Woo yeah we're making you a nice clean bed as soon as I put my hand as she tries to like grab onto my arm to oh, get out Ooh, give us a wave give us a wave give us a wave I had to take this out because she kept climbing on it and getting on the side of the box. Oh dear. So, I'm going to have a nice clean bed tonight, Pooh. You're lucky. We're well, raving. I'm raving, I'm raving. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Are you raving again? Keep your box over there in that corner. Look, look as soon as I put my hand, she's like, get on the arm, hi. <laughs> Can I move the box? I'm just going to bite thing out. Um. She didn't bite, she just sniffs it. Like, mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Look, she's grabbing onto me and tries to get up. <laughs> uh, it's okay, be careful. Right, let me put the box back. There we go. That's my hair all done as well. So I've washed it. I've used a different shampoo and it's kind of gone really nice, which is always the same, isn't it, when you're not leaving the house. So I would like to have it cut so that it is actually this length when it's not curled. Um, so maybe when we come out of the other side of this, I might get it cut a little bit shorter for a change. Yay! So there's my little hair. It's always the same. It looks nice when you're not going anywhere. <laughs> anyway, so I've got some more Avon recommendations. So I've been recommended this. So this is Avon Skin So Soft Original Dry Oil Spray. They tell you to use this if you're going abroad um, or to stop, apparently it's really good for stopping mosquito bites, insect bites, and when it's hot and you're going somewhere abroad or you're just sitting in your garden and you don't want to get bit by anything, if you spray this on you, it stops you getting bitten. Let me spin it around so you can have a proper look. So I think it's £3.50. Um, and obviously you get quite a lot in it. So if you are prone to getting bit by insects and stuff, which I am, <laughs> obviously not mosquitoes and stuff because I've never been abroad, but um, I do get bit by stuff in the summer sometimes. So this, if you spray it on, it stops you getting bitten. So another recommendation from my lovely ladies. Yay! All oh, right, super quick chat about perfumes. So I've had a sample of this Ava one um, and I have to say, I didn't really like it. So as I say, I'll always let you know what's good and what's not good in my little Ava. And I had some little samples of this. I did test some this morning and I'm not overly keen. It's all right, but I wouldn't say it was anything special. So I don't really recommend that. And I've ordered in my next book, I've ordered some of this, but I'll show you what I've done in a minute so that I can test it. They reckon that this one tastes like the Paco uh, Rabanne Olympia perfume. So I've ordered a bit of that. And I've also ordered some of this because they said it smells a bit like 
Terry Mulligan Alien, which I used to wear a lot. I used to love that. And then there's this one that they say um, smells like Marc Jacobs Daisy, which is obviously the one I've had on today. And I don't really like Marc Jacobs Daisy, so that's probably why I didn't like that one. Uh, but what I've done, uh, because obviously it's quite expensive to buy perfume, and then if you don't like it, it's a waste of money. So what I've done, and find my little... What have I done with it? Hang on. I did mark the, this. This is what I've done. You can buy these um, purse sprays. So you can buy two for seven or three for nine, or I think they are six pound for one. So what I've done, I've bought two, the two that I've just told you, for seven. So I thought at least then I can test them. Um, and then if I like them, obviously I can buy a big bottle. But if I don't like them, then you've only wasted seven pounds. So I thought that was a great idea to test some of the perfumes if you really want to see what they're like. So obviously they've got my far away one that I love, far away infinity, which is the green one I keep wearing, which is also really, really nice. And obviously that's the Rebel one I'm going to try. Um, and then there's the Maxim one I'm going to try as well. So I thought it was just a great idea. So if any of you are thinking, I don't know what they smell like. So that's an idea. I've also had a little tester. Um, where is it? Of this one. Now this smells absolutely wonderful. So it's called Look Limitless for Her. I tested it on my little tiny bottle last night. It was literally a tiny, tiny little bottle. And I tested it on my wrist last night and it was absolutely amazing. And all night I kept sniffing my arm and every time I moved I could smell it. So I think I'm going to treat myself to some of this. It was so nice. And then obviously this is the dry oil spray that I was just telling you about. So it is £3.50. And that's it. Brilliant. So, my dears, I'm going to love you and leave you. It's getting late and it's Friday night. Although I've actually lost track of what day it is today. I got to a point and thought, I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> so, I hope you've all had a good day. I hope you stay safe. Obviously, it's been warm in the UK, but I hope you have stayed in. I hope you've not been out for the sake of it. Please don't. Please stay home if you can. Many, many thanks to all the nurses, doctors, care assistants, delivery drivers and the people that have to go to work i've been watching the news like i said earlier on it is petrifying it's so frightening we've had the most amount of deaths today in england it's just absolutely terrible so uh, i just can't tell you it's just so so frightening and so uh, worrying but we're all here for each other we're all in the same boat so if you want to talk or anything just please comment down below we're all here for each other I'm sorry if I keep waffling on about my Avon, but I am finding that it's helping me through this. And I know everybody that's had a delivery agrees with me and said, Jane, thank you for doing this. Well, I love my Avon so much. It's so lovely. So again, I'll put the link to my Avon shop down below. If you spend £15, you do get free delivery in the UK and it's delivered straight to your door. So you don't have to go out. It's really, really good. So if you want any advice on Avon, please feel free to email me my email address and everything is all down below so if you want any advice on makeup or anything i'm here i like doing it so if i can help you i will um so my dears i'm gonna love you and leave you so big hug to you all let's have a virtual hug come on Ooh, let's be here for each other i have like i said this morning i have had some horrible comments lately so it is a bit off-putting but i know a lot of you we all get on so well don't we like when we went live we're all here for each other it was so lovely so we'll just ignore the horrible people and we'll just carry on in our little bubble so we're all here together so if you do enjoy life in england staying in and whatever else we get up to then please subscribe to my channel and come and find me on instagram as mrs crazy bag lady on tiktok as jane walker with two r's and my little avon shop which i will put the link down below i will never earn any money from avon because i just keep buying stuff myself it's terrible but if it's getting us through this then i don't care i'm just doing it for the love of it for the love of lipstick and bubble bath and foundation and perfume and it's just so lovely so feel free to treat yourself honestly having one of their avon bubble baths really does help so take care my dears and i'll see you tomorrow bye